What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel, and we are back with another Thursday banger of a vid. Well, is it a banger of a vid? We've got two new managers. <laughs> That's what we're getting excited about now, and I'm going to show you these two managers here in a sec. They're just available from the 25th of July to the 31st of October. We also have Young Stars Volume 2 with three Showtime players, Gabardiel, Kamavinga, and of course, they're going to have the new skills. Now, usually two of the three always have the skills, I do feel like that that will probably change for the future. Gavardiel is definitely going to be um, a nice option to have if you've never got this car before. He is definitely a good player. He's got good stats. We'll have a look at his card in a second. And of course, we'll do a full review on that card later on today in the stream. And then we'll have that up probably tomorrow or maybe later on today as well. Camavinga is definitely going to be saucy enough as well. He's got game change and pass. I think his skill is. We'll have a look here in a second just to double check. Beautiful finish there, of course, by Vinny Jr. But Kamavinga, the man orchestrating everything there. And that is going to be the second showtime that they have here, who's going to go to about 102 overall, depending on how you train him up, depending on what manager that you're using. And then, of course, you have got a Spurs, a Van de Ven, the Tottenham man, very, very solid at the back. Sorry, boys, my throat's a little bit sore today. Very, very solid at the back really fast and definitely one of the best cards that they've released of him because a lot of the cards that they've had of him have been quite poor uh this card is definitely up there i think with you know really really up there with like kind of end game level center backs right but we'll have a look we'll have a look as i said game changing pass for camavinga gavardi has got fortress and van de ven has nothing we still have our login bonuses we still have our e-festival uh competition or campaign going on and of course we do have our freebies as well as the daily game still going right so everything else just to give you a quick run through of this if you're not at your console you're wondering what's new nothing's going to be that new until eFootball 2025 you know you have your team play fun back to co-op event you've got a spanish league english cup and of course the national team is still ongoing that's going to be your skill trainer that's going to be your skill trainer and then for the ai you've got your english club which is going to be your training program you're going to get your encore stars which are the new player of the week selection that are re-releases with the spanish club you get a free one there and of course the national team is ongoing the flexible showdown here as well as you see here it is going to be ending in six days right so if you have not got this done you can do it now we are on our other profile here so if you've not got one of these players i definitely recommend ben white he's a beast and it takes you about 10 minutes to get this player maybe 15 so yeah definitely try and get them right but the rest of the pack here um or the rest of the events are going to be pretty much rinse and repeat right and that's not going to probably change i would say until maybe you know efootball 25 has been out for a while right the rest of the stuff to talk about is the player reset, lads. The player reset has got one more week left, right? So if you are going to be looking at any of these here, any of these players that you'll be able to train, it is only going to be ongoing for one more week, okay? So it's going to be ending on the 1st of the 8th, which is next Thursday, okay? Just So just keep that in mind. I will do a video and a full kind of breakdown of a lot of stats and a lot of retraining, but they will probably change the gameplay quite soon. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Now, on to the actual players that are available today with the special player list. You have got the Young Stars Volume 2. You've got J-League Monthly MVPs. You've got the Encore Stars. The Young Stars 1 are still there. The Encore Stars from July 25. Uh, July 25th, that is 32 players. It's re-released as a player. So if you've missed out on any of your favorite player of the weeks, so you can go for them again. Everything else is going to be gone as well uh, in 13 days. So everything is going to be gone apart from these two uh, within the next few days, right? The Young Stars Volume 2, we'll get to that in a second, but this is actually quite a decent pack um, if you've not got a good version of Son or Rodrigo or Leao or Musiala or Diaz. There's some nice players in here, but yeah, at this stage in the game, and centre-back uh, Kyle Walker is probably going to be a good pick there as well. At this stage of the game, unless you're going to clear in this pack, I don't think that there's a point in really spinning for it. There's going to be new players out within a week or so, and none of these are really game changers apart from probably Rodrigo. Leao, if you don't have him already, Valverde is quite good, Sun is quite good, uh, Kyle Walker is quite good, and Musiala is quite good. But yeah, there's way better players out there. Unless you've got a good lot of coins, you haven't been playing the game for a while, you can guarantee yourself some nice players with them. But again, I would probably steer clear of those. Same with the J-League, right? You've got Momentum Dribbling Yusani. Um, this guy as well has got Momentum Dribbling Furukawa. Uh, and there's a box of 100 here right but again man i just feel like this is just my personal opinion if you're going to be transforming your team or having a j league players team you're going to be giving up a lot of your other uh player options that you do have right and then of course we do have the young stars so these come in this box here you've got cavardiel camavinga and van de ven van de ven is very very nice lads he's got 82 speed off the rip 
Um, and I'm going to show you here how to train him up. If you want to, a little bit later on in the stream, we're going to do his training guide. We'll probably spin, I think, a little bit for him. We'll see. Blocker interception, aerial superiority. The only thing he needs is acrobatic clearance and one touch pass, probably. If you're going to be playing him as a left back or as a center back, blocker is probably what you need. And then it's just a really solid build of him. Give him, you know, get his speed to 90 because it's very easy to do that, even though 85 is more than enough. Get his acceleration to 85, his speed to 90, and that's going to bring up his stamina and, of course, his balance. You don't need balance too much on him, but then the rest just throw it into physical contact and, of course, into defense. Get his aggression to 90 and his physical contact to 90 if you can as well, and that will sort him out. He's got 27 levels, a very solid destroyer. You also have Kamavinga with 33 levels. Now, this guy is a beast. He definitely is one that we can uh, look at with the booster as well. We didn't show you the booster on Van de Ven then, um, but we'll show you now, right? So this has got a speed and acceleration on him, so you don't need to put that too many stats into him, and you're going to have a really solid player. Now, I talked about this before, about, like, can Ami leave little breadcrumbs as to what's going to be important in future updates of the game? And it looks like tight possession and, of course, acceleration for players that are going to be on the ball is still the go-to for a lot of these cards, right? Very, very nice. All you need to do is give him flip-flap if you want to have a very silky orchestrator. He already has one touch, true passing, interception blocker, and super sub with game-changing pass. This is a phenomenal card. His AI playing style is amazing run and long ball expert. Very, very nice. Very, 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 very nice indeed from uh, Kamavinga as an orchestrator. Again, don't need him too aggressive, but you can still get his speed, acceleration, and stamina, as well as tight possession, all up towards the 90 mark while still having his defense huge. It's a brilliant, brilliant card. We'll show you a build for him later. And then Gavardiel, right? So Gavardiel's going to be a little bit slower as a defensive fullback than Van de Ven, but he's kind of more silky. I would definitely use him as a left back with the boosters that he has. Now, he does have blocker. He does have fortress as his showtime skill. He does have heading, pinpoint crossing, interception, acrobatic clearance, air superiority, and fighting spirit. I definitely, with that early crosser long ball expert play style from the AI, and the pinpoint cross and player skills, as well as having fairly good low and lofted passes. This is your new defensive left back if you have not got a really solid defensive left back. It's kind of a, a problem area for a lot of people because on the right side, you can have Bergomi, you can have Turam, you can have Dixon or any of those guys, wan -Bissaka. but left backs are harder to come by and I definitely think this guy is going to be over the top and really, really meta, right? His speed and his acceleration can go to 80s. His jump and his physical contact can go to mid-80s. And then his defense and his low passing and lofted passing can go really, really high as well for an all-rounder with 33 levels. Very, very solid. Doesn't need much work at all. Maybe one touch pass, but doesn't need much work other than that. And then the rest of the selection here is quite decent too. Now, on to, to two new managers here. I'm going to have a full breakdown of these. It's just more to show you what they are and what they give you. 500 coins each for Stoichkovic. And of course, we have De La Fuente there as well as a celebration pack. And this guy looks pretty decent, lads. He's got 88 possession game, 88 out wide. It gives a plus one to acceleration. Welcome to the new meta. This is going to be it if people are playing possession game, which is huge at the moment. And I'm a massive fan of possession for just having fun with the game. And then for 500 coins, we do have Stoichkovic, which is going to give you 88 quick counter, 88 out wide. So they're really pushing out wide again, which for me, again, we'll talk about it later on in the stream, what this could mean. Why out wide is being pushed back to the, to the, to the main again. But I do think that it will it will be a good sign for people that play out wide. So it also comes with 40,000 trainer XP. I think for if you're looking for a manager, it's a no-brainer. It gives you the ultimate boost to your player stats. And I think for 500 coins, it's not much at all if you have that in your locker, right? So Les, that is pretty much it. It's just a quick roundup video. I'll be back live streaming in a few hours. Hope to see you guys there. And we'll talk to you in a little bit. You also have your freebies here as well from in here young stars you've got your 50 e football point uh, coins and all that and um, you get the young stars in there as well so that is it for me i'll talk to you a little bit don't forget to subscribe